Hey, hey, what's up, beautiful people? Y'all know who it is. You know who the face is. Live from Johannesburg, South Africa, family. Peace and love to all the family. And look what we got. Look what we got behind us. That's right. That's right. Philly. Yeah, so we're going to try this place today. But before even we get started with that, family, y'all know who it is. The name is Amber Lucci. Be lucky. You know what I'm saying? That's how we doing it. And the lovely flam is here. I'm going to introduce them. But first, I got to let y'all know who we are completely, family. And we the unapologetic. No mask. And we unapologetic. Nomadic. Yes. Nomadic. That's right, family. And as you can see, the lovely family is in the building. We got the lovely, the beautiful, the all so luscious and luxurious <laughs> wife in the building. Luxurious. <laughs> Thank you to my wonderful husband. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Um, yeah, so shout out to everybody who's tuned in. Uh, Tembi, shout out to you. Thank you guys for checking us out. Another wonderful day here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Peace and love. Yes. Yes. And we yes. also have, we keep on, you know, I, first I want to say my, uh, shout out to uh, the cameraman, the weatherman, uh, yeah. Yeah, the try. king of the unapologetic nomads. Uh, I try. Also, very awesome. <laughs> Thank y'all. Uh, but yeah, we have also the wonderful, the talented, the pretty, the hilarious Miss Ayla in the building. Yes. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> no, I'm just right. Hello, everyone. How are you today or something? Or like, yeah, this morning. Well, a lot of y'all be in the states. Some aren't. So like, good night. I don't know, cause I don't know where y'all at. So like, yeah. I hope you're doing well or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah family. So as you can see, it's raining today. There's some light rays. They're probably going to around 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. here in the afternoon. Um, definitely, we needed these showers. You know, I've been seeing it for the last couple of days. I'm like, yo, it's going to rain soon. And it's, it's actually raining. Um, the temperature shot down. It was hot earlier, family. It was, it was around 84 degrees earlier. But once the rain came, you know, it hit like 65 degrees, maybe like 70 around some areas around here. Just got a little scattered showers right now, but there ain't nothing to uh, get too crazy over family. You know, you might need a little umbrella. Um, <clears throat> you don't really need rain boots like that, but if you like want to get rain boots or wear rain boots, you can. It ain't that serious, but uh, yeah, family. Yeah, t shirts, shorts, stuff like that is good. Maybe some pants, some jogging pants, some Adidas pants, or Nike pants, or something like that. Yeah, you good, family. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what it is out here, and that's what it looks like to all the lovely people out there. Shout out to all the people in the building, family. I saw Malachi Muhammad, who is currently in the building. Shout out to you, family. Safe travels. Tim B's in the building. Caleb Sampi is in the building. A couple people are currently in the building. Beautiful people. That's right. Yeah. So we're here at the Philly Cheesesteak Place. For those who don't know, Philly cheesesteaks originated in philly hence the name philly cheesesteak and to be exact it originated in south philly i believe a guy by the name of uh uh what was his name paul or something <laughs> or, uh, you could probably look this up it might be on wikipedia or something but it was a guy pat his name was pat in south philly i believe he uh he had like a hot dog stand and he was like put some steak on there and it was a cab driver drove by was like yo that steak smells good let me get one of them steak sandwiches and that was the beginning of the philly cheesesteak family and ever since then philly has been known for the cheese steaks um originally <clears throat> i believe it's ribeye steak using philly cheese steaks it's ribeye steak with maybe sharp or mild provolone cheese um uh, there's something that's real popular that is cheese whiz but like that's really not my favorite, but a lot of people go for the cheese whiz um, <clears throat> and things like that. There's so many ways to prepare a Philly cheesesteak, so many ways to have it. Even when you're in Philly, the places that they say are the best for Philly cheesesteaks are really not the best to people who live in Philly. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, you got like Pat Steaks, you got Geno's, you got Jim's. A lot of those are real popular in Philly. To me, my favorite 
Philly cheesesteak in Philly to get one is uh, Lee's on 47th and Baltimore Avenue. Shout out to Lee's. They got some brothers in there who really know what they're doing on their cheesesteak game. Well, there's a lot of places, man. A lot of people like different things. Whatever your taste is, if you like a lot of meat, people go to Gooey Louis. There's different places to go. You know, I think the cheesesteaks is really in the bread, the softness, the toastiness in the bread makes it all worthwhile to me. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, another thing. I like the chicken cheesesteaks. I'm not too big on regular cheesesteaks. I'm in the chicken cheesesteaks. You know, um, I think Ishka Bibbles is up there at the top. Um, there's a couple places that make good chicken cheesesteaks, family. But anyway, how's the wife feeling today? I'm feeling great. Um, and uh, thank y'all for tuning into our video yesterday. Um, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, um, I think as far as the cheesesteak goes, you gotta have the right ratio for everything. You gotta have the onions, the cheese. You know, it's important to have the right bread. Um, yeah, everything gotta come together right to have that successful uh, cheesesteak. You know, whether e whether it's beef or chicken. You know, because we do the chicken cheesesteaks as well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. gotta be right. Thanks. Yeah. Hello, guys. I hope you guys are good. Yeah, everything is good, family. We've been loving and feeling good out here. As you can see, the rain is coming down, family. The rain is pouring pretty heavy. We got people uh, shopping and doing their things like that, family, as you can see. With a lot of rain going on right now. You got people actually running to the area so they can get out of the rain and shop and finish doing the things that they must do today, family. Yeah. And that's what it is. We're still out here chilling. <clears throat> we're in Midram. We were in Pretoria. We have made it back down to Midram. Pretoria is a very beautiful place. I definitely recommend checking out Pretoria when you visit South Africa. A lot of people say visit Cape Town, Durban, you know, and things like that. But make sure you come up here, Johannesburg, and definitely check out Pretoria while you're up here around this way, family. It's a very beautiful place, very beautiful people. Yeah, so Ayla is actually not a, a cheesesteakologist as we are, but Ayla does know a little bit about cheesesteaks. Like, she was real young. When we were in Philly, Ayla was at that age where she just liked, like, chicken nuggets and fries. Yeah. So, like, she didn't really want to go delve in too deep into different other kind of cuisines and things like that. If you had chicken strips or fries, Ayla was as happy as pumpkin pie. That's true. Yeah, you got uh, pizza, chicken nuggets, macaroni. That's all I ate. <laughs> yeah. That was it. But now, yeah, I can dibble and dabble in different foods and things. Like, I like salads, pastas. I like it all. Uh -huh. You know? I Also, this is, like, kind of off, but not. Like, mussels. I never ate mussels when I was little. I mean, what child eats mussels? And I was mad. I'm like, I've been missing out this whole time. You know, so that's just like a little like I'm eating what I should have been eating now. I'm eating it now, like yes. cheese steaks. I missed out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we see a lot of people in the room. We got the one and only lady visionary currently in the building. We got um, yeah. Uh, the rain is super heavy here right now. I didn't get to do what I needed to do. Yeah, facts to, uh, facts, man. Uh, shout out to uh, Rwanda and all our brothers and sisters over there in the diaspora and our brothers and sisters who, who's Rwandese family. Shout out to everybody on, in East Africa, South Africa, and West Africa family. And everybody in the diaspora, shout out to you family. Shout out to our brothers and sisters in North and South America and Central America. That's just how we do it, family, yeah. So how you feeling, uh, lovely wife? How's everything been going? I'm great. Uh, just, um, <laughs> just you know, doing, doing what I do, you know. Um, still creating, you know, doing different things behind the scenes on, you know. You know and, oh, very excited. Very excited about March 5th. Oh, my goodness. So those of you who've already signed up for the Soul Talks Therapy Sessions, um, that's going down March 5th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm looking forward to seeing my brothers and sisters um, on that day. If you haven't done that, um, go ahead and do that. Sign up now, you know. So the link is there for it in, um, on the website, unapologeticnomads.com. So go there and just sign up. And um, 
Looking forward to chopping up with you. Uh, and um, yeah, looking forward to some great talk, great conversations, yeah. and some building and sharing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and also exchange of information, you know. A lot of times we, um, you might be well versed in one area or, or topic or something, and somebody else is, you know, might be working on a project or something together. You never know what come out of this. We are very, very excited about it, and uh, hope to see some of you there. Yes, and all of you in the diaspora, go ahead and and and, and uh, go ahead and sign up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's for everybody, family. It's not just for us in America, which is cool too, but it's for everybody, family. Yeah. Because uh, we have to learn how to um, support each other, family. That's a big thing. A lot of us don't know how to support each other. A lot of us be jealous for reasons that we don't even know ourselves. So, you know, this is a time where we can talk and iron out all the wrinkles that's in the relationships uh, or our own relationships with each other. And uh, just, just smooth things out, talk, and see where our heads is at. You know, it's an important thing. There's a lot going on. We saw those videos in the Ukraine where they weren't letting the brothers and sisters on the train. It was a lot of wake-up calls for people who said there wasn't no racism and stuff like that. Like, when you in certain situations, you start to see it, you know, hands-on. You know, and it's too bad for the brothers and sisters. They had to see it at a point like that. But, um, you know, uh, we do... <clears throat> See what's going on, and and like 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 I always say, you know, if I'm in China, they look at me. Even though I'm American, they look at me like I'm African or like I'm every, like I'm I'm related to everybody black everywhere. They, I'm African wherever I go, fam. It don't matter where I go. If I go to to Russia right now, I'm African. If I go to uh, the UK, until I start talking, now when I start talking, things change up a little bit, but. You know, we all in this together, family, at the end of the day. Yeah. At the end of the day, we all in this together. Yeah. Real talk, Aaron. Uh, the jealousy needs to stop. Unity is everything. Yeah. Yeah, the jealousy does need to stop. You know, um, there's no reason to be jealous of each other. That's destroying a lot of things. Jealousy and backbiting, hate and envy and stuff like that, family. Miss Yetta B is currently in the building. Great day, you and family. Only 6 a.m. here in Florida. Glad to at least see my hometown repping on the continent. Yeah, fam, you know how we do it. We, um, you know, we love Philly. Philly is, is home base, you know what I mean? And we got to do it, you know what I'm saying, for the fam. Yeah, that's all we got to do. And this rain is coming down, family. This rain is coming down. I think it's gonna rain for a few and then it might lighten up, but I don't know because it, the drizzle was coming down for a long time, like, and I know when it starts off slow, it usually lingers around for a long time. Like if it just starts raining real hard, you know it's going to stop soon. But if it like take time and builds up, you might be in for a long rain session. So we want to see how this rain goes right now. <clears throat> I believe the dew points are 60. You know, um, humidity is definitely up today. Humidity feels like 66, 67. It can get sticky. But um, it was worse earlier when it was uh, when it wasn't raining. So right now it's cool, family. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Uh, <laughs> get my head cut off. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I like rainy days sometimes. I don't know about you guys. Um, rainy days. Shout out to Lady Visionary uh, and um, you and your family. Hope you guys are um, you're doing well over there in Rwanda. Um, good to see you on here. Shout out to uh, Miss Yetta B, shout out to my sister, all right. And um, yeah, so rainy days sometimes, I like rainy days sometimes. I don't know about you guys, you know, you get to kind of relax and take a break, get some things done, you know, sleep, read, you know, some other things you would like to do. So, you know, we need those breaks sometimes with the weather. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we already ordered family. What I got today, I got the Baconator, uh, chicken and cheese thing. I'm gonna show y'all the menu. It's pretty uh it's pretty nice menu. As you can see we got burgers on this side, hot wings, uh milkshakes, stuff like that, sandwiches. On this side of the menu you have the cheese steaks. Mm -hmm. And they got the old school cheese steak with cheese whiz and things of that kind of a nature. You got Louisiana cheesy jalapeno, the New Yorker, 
cheddarella, the Greek baconator pulled pork, and the brisket cheddarella. Yeah. Now I got the um, baconator one. I'm usually not, don't get bacon on my cheesesteak. That's really not my twist. But I usually get like um, a cheesesteak with onions, sweet peppers, mayonnaise, and that's usually it. It's been a long time since I ordered a cheesesteak, actually. Fam. It's been a long time since I got a chicken cheesesteak. But I usually like barbecue sauce in there too, fam. And I like it in there. I don't like just sprayed on the top. Like I like it. I like them to bash my chicken in the, uh, the barbecue sauce before you put it on it. That's how I like my chicken cheesesteaks. Yeah. But um, that's the menu. They also add burgers and things like that. You can use a different kind of beef. I want to show y'all. You can use chicken, grade A beef, lazy age rump, the ribeye, the tender lamb, and the falafel for all of those uh, vegetarian or vegan brothers and sisters who comes to the Philly cheesesteak place and be all up in the building. Yeah, so we're going to ask how Ava's doing today. How was everything going in Ava's world? Oh, sorry. Oh, we have the drinks. Oh, okay. I am good now. And thanks. I hope you are... I hope you all are good as well. <laughs> and things. Uh, nice. Oh yeah, I got a um. Lo it's called the Louisiana. It's smoky barbecue and cheese whiz cheesesteak, and I got beef. Uh, so yeah. Cool. All right. So what did you get? Um, I ordered the um the classic what I the chicken cheesesteak the old school way um so it's gonna have the the, the um, you know sweet peppers the onions the mayo the sauce and whatnot so the chicken cheese steak now have the the cheese the melted cheese or mm. cheese whisk yeah so do you like you like your cheese steak like with a abundance of meat inside or like it's, a little bit of meat you gotta have the meat in there but it needs to be the right way it needs to be tender it to be tender and juicy <laughs> yes <laughs> so what kind of cheesesteak are you looking for today, Ayla? A cheesesteak with balance and flavors and ratio of bread to meat, you know? Okay. Yeah. Right. And okay. things of that nature, pretty much. Because I don't like stuff that's too sweet or stuff that's too savory, depending on what it is. Some stuff needs that separation. But I hope this has a balance, a sweet and savory. So yeah. And things. Okay, like yeah. that. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you see how Ayla get nervous when you keep the camera on her family. <laughs> Welcome to our show today or something. The Unapologetic Go Bands show. And for today's special, we're trying Philly cheesesteaks. And we happen to be <laughs> we happen to be from Philly. I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground. Of <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Miss Yetta B. I wonder if the chicken cheese steaks would be like Ishka Bibbles. I used to like Ishka Bibbles uh, chicken cheese steaks. That, I think they have some of the best chicken cheese steaks to me. You know, now the regular cheese steak, no, that's on South, it's South, uh, South Street. Yeah. yeah, I used to go to South Street just to get uh, this together. Okay, so here we go, fam. We got the Baconator in the building. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's the old school. Okay. Ah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. The Louisiana Philadelphia cheese steak, I guess. All right, so as you can see, the mayo is all over the cheese steak. And you have the cheese in there. It looks like a creamy kind of a cheese. All right, and you got fries. The fries look good. The fries look real good. Yeah. So what do we have here? It's the old school chicken cheese steak with the caramelized onions, sweet peppers. Um, I guess the sauce here. Now the only thing is they put the mayo on top of the meat instead of on the bread. So we usually put it on the bread. Um, but we'll see how it comes out of taste. So you like your your uh, mayo on the bread? On the bread. Yes. 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 Yeah, and um, yeah, it's a little different. And then you have the chips. They look really 
Mmm. The chips are good. Mm. They're very good. Nice. Got a little seasoning on them. Okay. Crunchy. But not hard. They got that little crisp on the outside. Yeah. Outside. They're really good. Nice. The chips are good. Nice. Mm. All right. So, uh, what do we what do we have here, Ayla? The Louisiana, not purchased. <laughs> yes, we have the Louisiana cheesesteak and whatnot. And she, yeah, I like the uh, mayo on the bread as well, but it's all right. We'll see how it tastes. You know, it's uh, barbecue flavored, and then it has the same. I think the same stuff that, that's in the rest of. I, I think we all got the same thing: sweet peppers, onions, and stuff. French fry. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah, good seasoning. Sorry about the microphone. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try the cheese steak. Oh, we are. And stuff. I'm trying to go see how I'm gonna go about biting this. I got mostly bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Ooh, is that egg? But yeah, that's good. It's a balance. I need water. I'm about to get a hiccup. Hold on. A hiccup. Drinking the water to clear her, her throat. <laughs> yes, I am finished drinking the water now. So yeah, that's good. I'm glad it is not an overabundance of flavors. Like the barbecue is not super sweet to where it's like a lot. Is right, <laughs> it's good. You know, the bread it was soft, but has a slight crisp on the outside. You know, so that's good. It's tasty. It tastes like it got some butter in the bread. That's good. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go to the lovely wife to see how she yeah, feels you know about the cheese about. stuff. Philly girl, Philly girl. So um, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah. So the only thing is like, like I said, the mayo yeah. should be on the bread, not, not on top inside. of the meat and things. But it does look good if you look inside there. The meat, yeah, and the uh, sauce is there, and the caramelized onions, the peppers. So we're gonna just give it a test taste. Yeah. Hitting four. Ah, I don't know which way to bite. Okay. No. <laughs> Gosh. Mm. I think that came out all right, Yetta. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Mmm. Okay, that's tasty. Mm -hmm. That's good. I did get a lot of bread that time. Let me see if the meat is like, huh? She's taking another bite so she can get a little bit more meat. Okay. It's good. It's good. How's the meat taste? It's seasoned well, it's tender. I'm getting that onion in there. Pepper. Mayo's good. Yeah. Nice. Everything is coming together well. Mm. It's good. Man. Seriously. Is it up there with leaves? Now. Lee's, oh my goodness, in Philly, um, Lee's is amazing. So I'm going to have to say, um, for me, if Lee's is up here, they're like right there. Really? They're like right there. Because Lee's is simply just mind-boggling. Mind mm. <laughs> okay. But this is really good. Nice. Yeah, so is, right is this a good representation of a Philly cheesesteak? Yes and no. Only because, like I said, the mayo shouldn't be on top. The mayo should be on the bread. You know, okay. we, we're real particular about the yeah. cheese steaks in the <laughs> presentation. But as far as the taste, the taste is good. No. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm going to put the mic microphone on so that... uh. Yeah, I'm not holding you know it in, trying to eat, huh? Oh, you know Lee's. Lee's is good. I, you know, um, <clears throat> I remember because I used to really like the Ishka Bibble ones, cheese steaks, and I went 
my boy told me, he was like, yo, you need to try the cheesesteaks from this place. And I'm like, they ain't got nothing on this. Because people was like, you know, it don't matter. Like, I tried, but it ain't nothing. And he took me to Lee's, and we got some chicken cheesesteaks there. It was a wrap. That's all I get them from now. And when we go back to Philly, I'm going to make sure I go there and pay Lee and them a visit. Yeah. And a lot of people think that, you know, because Lee's is like an Asian kind. It's an Asian. The owner's Asian, you know. And um, it looked like it could be a Chinese spot, but it's not. It's actually the people cooking, the brothers back there cooking on the grill and doing things like that. So it's actually the brothers doing the cooking, but it's called Lee's, and they got the best cheese taste to me, family. I said they got the best cheese taste to me. So, all right, I'm going to try this. This right here is the fries. These fries are good. They got a little sweetness to them. They're salty, nice, savory, crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. Very good, family. Yeah. Now I'm going to try the cheese steak. Those fries are real good. You know what? The fries remind me of Checkers fries, family. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Checkers got a lot more seasoning. Checkers got a smidget bit more seasoning, but, it's but it still fun. reminds me of Checkers fries because it, it, it got like that checkery ish kind of taste. But the only thing with Checkers is that sometimes they be kind of flimsy. But anyway. All right, so we're going to try to do this here. I'm not sure what kind of cheese this is. I think it's cheese made like Normally, I like. Uh, no, 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 you got actual cheese. cheese. You got melted cheese. I got melted you got cheese. Both. She gave you both. Okay, it's both in here. Okay. I normally like like a sharp provolone on my cheese steaks. Okay. Oh. Mm, yeah, you got melted cheese. Yeah. Stringy from your lips. <laughs> you have like. I know. I got. Yeah. yeah. I, there's no napkin. Uh, I probably got something in my beard, but this beard with me, family. This is definitely a good representation of a Philly cheesesteak. It has all the bells and whistles as far as the bread is nice and soft. It got that nice um fluffy kind of thing going mm -hmm. it's like you know not too hard it's not too crispy bread too crispy could mess the cheesesteak up mm -hmm. if it's too hard it messes the whole cheesesteak up man. the bread is real good and i'm particular about the bread because that's mm -hmm. like one of the main ingredients or the main things that got to be cool on the cheesesteak the meat is good i like the ratio of the meat um <clears throat> pause I like the ratio with the bun with the meat. The way they put the peppers in there, the sweet peppers is perfect. The onions is perfect. The only thing I can say is what my wife said is with the mayo being on the top. Because the mayo should actually be on the bread, like be slapped on inside the bread. You know what I mean? And even the cheese just looks like it's just poured on here. That should even be kind of like within the... Uh, the steak or within the chicken because I got a chicken cheese steak. But when it comes to taste, the taste is there, family. It's very good, yes. The cheese steak is very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. This is live, it's okay. Hi. Hi. Marlene. Yeah. And that's my lane. Very good service. Yeah. But I have to give this this is up there. I, I say it's a very good representation. Mm -hmm. It's right on there. If you want a Philly cheesesteak and you're not in Philly, this mm -hmm. is definitely a good place to go and check it out. As you can see, it's called the original Philly cheesesteak company family. Yeah. All, right. and, um, all in all, I'm going to say it's good. Um, we're just, you know, as foodies, you know, we're going to rate the food. We're going to tell you based on everything, presentation, everything. And um, I know it seems a little nitpicky, but that's just how it is in Philly. We're serious about our cheesesteak, but the taste, everything came together really well. The taste is there. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good. So what we were talking about is mainly just technical stuff like the way it's, you know, presented. That's all. But very good service, and these are good cheesesteaks. Yeah. It's very good.
thumbs up for me. Yeah, thumbs up, family. Yeah. And y'all got to realize everything can't be all positive and, and flowers and, and, and damn butterflies flying. Everything ain't like that, family. You know, we're going to give you how we feel. We're going to give you as, as much as we can, you know, and um, that's just what it is, family. But the cheesesteak is definitely good. I would definitely come here again and check it out and grab one. And the fries is really good. I like these fries. The fries are good. Probably the best. Um, out of machachos, they're similar to machachos fries, but I like these ones a little better. Yeah. Which ones you like, Ellie? You like machachos fries or fries here? Muchachos fries were more crispy and hot upon serving and things. So I'm gonna have to say those. Yeah, my favorite, favorite fries I've had here was when we ate at that Bry restaurant in Newtown. Oh, it was Parktown? It was Newtown. Yeah. And then we did a video on that, right? Yeah, that put that, she, ooh, that was my favorite fries here. But yeah, muchachos. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Yeah, family. But it's beautiful. It's definitely beautiful to be able to get a Philly cheesesteak in South Africa. That's a lovely thing. Yeah. You know, it really makes me proud of my city because, um, <clears throat> you know, you can't find that everywhere. You know, everybody's city don't have something that's like, yo, let's try this or, you know, it's not named. Really, I'm trying to think of other cities that have staple foods that's actually popular, like Philly cheese steaks, um, Chicago deep dish pizza, Chicago deep dish pizza, New York pizza, New York pizza, yeah, yeah, New York pizza, um, like cities that have foods that's popular, yeah, because you know Philly's known for cheese steak, and I'm trying to think, what is South Africa known for, family? Is it the bry? I think South Africa's known for bride, because even before we came here, people were like, y'all got to try bride. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm trying to think of any other cities. Family, help us out. Let us know some cities that are known for food or some dishes from cities that have a popular food dish. Maryland crab cakes, yes. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Yetta B for that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, oh yeah, New England clam chowder. How about that one? That's my favorite. I like New England clam chowder, chowder better than the Manhattan clam chowder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like better? I like the. I'm trying to remember. All right, the New the England is the, the, the white, white sauce. That's the New England one. Tomatoes. That's the New England. That's the one I. That's the one I eat. Yeah, okay. New England. Yeah. It's good. Okay. You know, New England, they know for like seafood. They got all those, those shipping. You know, people do a lot of fishing up there. And uh, so they're known for the seafood and stuff. So I think they have like a fresher, oh. I don't know, they put it in the, in the chowder, the clam, clams in, in, in the chowder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, family. Um, somebody said Indian, Indian, um, what was that? Indian. Uh, I think you erased it because I don't see it. Yeah. Indian chicken butter curry, yeah. Oh, okay, Louisiana yeah. gumbo jambalaya, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's them crabs? Snow crab? No, that ain't. I was thinking something else. I was thinking something else. Um, yeah. Is there any African cities? I'm trying to think. Now, I know uh, uh, Jamaica is known for like, uh, what's it? Um, Jerk chicken, jerk chicken, jerk oxtails, oxtails, oxtails um, beans and rice. Yeah, yeah, the beans and rice. Yeah, I know Mexico's Mexico's known for like tacos, stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean like a city name, like you know, you got yeah. Philly cheesesteak, you got New York cheesecake. Um, now as far as Miss Anita, she used to tell. Oh yeah, you got Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. My um shout out to Miss Anita, Miss Her. She was my dance teacher. And she ran a homeschool in UAE and we went there. She had a dance. It was awesome. She always used to tell us about Prince's hot chicken in Tennessee, so I don't know if they're known for that. Mm. But that's what I remember she telling us. 
Which city is that? Ten I don't Nashville? Nashville. Could have been Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. So Cape Town is known for uh Gatsby Snowick Snook and Cape Malay style curry. Okay, you gotta try that. Yeah, we gotta try that. I know Limpopo is known for the mangoes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I got to get up there and try some of the mangoes, family. Yeah, I heard about that one. Yeah. Y'all look real nice eating all y'all food. I need to eat my food. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. You look like you still. Yeah. You good? You finished that? Yeah, but peace and love to all the lovely people out there. Y'all know how we do it. Durbin, Bunny Chow, Joe Bird, Coda, Cape Town, Gatsby. What's Gatsby? Yeah, I'm not sure. What's Gatsby, family? St. Louis Barbecue. Yeah, yeah, I heard about St. Louis Barbecue. Yeah, definitely. Hmm? I thought you said something. Yeah, what's Gatsby, family? Yeah. <clears throat> Let us know. But you know, like, yeah. In different regions, too, in the U.S. is known for different things. So the South, we known for all that stuff. Barbecue and chicken. So, soul food. We just got soul food, I think, on lock. Mm -hmm. Different areas in the south, so the whole region, you know, like South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, you know, yeah. uh, like fish, good yeah. chicken. Now, I know, dishes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, as far as Africa, because I don't know, like, like Tanzania, I don't know what dishes they're known for. Now, they have the what's it, makaki chicken, machachi. Remember the chicken in, in um, Tanzania. Tanzania, makaki chicken or something. Mm. I know they eat a lot of ugali, kingfish. That's known, and um, yeah, I'm not sure, but it's some kind of chicken that they eat. I forget what it's called, but makaki chicken or something like that. The one with the red stuff. Yeah, the red stuff. Oh, yeah. You remember that? It used to have like the red sauce and vegetables on it. Yeah. And it was there. We ate it good. Yeah. I used to get it sometimes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now Rwanda. <laughs> now Rwanda doesn't have like a dish that's like calls Rwanda's name. But if I was to have to make a dish, because I've ate a lot of good food in Rwanda, I would have to say goat brochettes. The goat brochettes in Rwanda are like none other family. Got to try the goat brochettes. You know, get them at a, a, a place where they, you know, they got good bro goat brochettes. They probably should be known for goat brochettes, but I don't think it's a big thing like that. Um, Burundi definitely, <laughs> Mukeke family. Burundi's known for Mukeke. You got to say that. Yeah. South Africa, you have a couple dishes here that you're known for, as far as like the the pup. Um, <clears throat> you got the bride of war. Things of that like that, chakalaka, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Um, Ethiopia is known for that bread. What's it called? Oh. Indira? What's it? Indira. 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 Indira bread. Indira. Yeah, Indira. Yeah. But it's interesting. Different cultures, different places are uh, known for their foods like that. And as y'all see, Philly is known for the cheese steaks family. Yeah. Yes. And also uh, Scrapple. A lot of people sleep on Scrapple and don't know what Scrapple is. Scrapple is a Philly thing. And go to Philly and try Philadelphia Scrapple if you don't know what it is. Very good for breakfast. And that's just how we do it over there. Scrapple and grits. Hmm. Sound a little southern. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do that. It might be similar to that uh, sausage pudding. I don't know how many. I'm telling my age. Sausage pudding in the south. I don't know if anybody on here knows what I'm talking about. Shout out to my girl Pendile. Pendile, nice to see you on here. Um, yeah, you said Greek. Okay, Greek gyros. You said a gyro. Yes, okay, yeah. a gyro. We used to get gyros. Yeah. Even in Philip, we used to get gyros. Um, they have a lot of different cuisines there. Definitely, definitely. Water ice. Ah, we see other people. Water That's ice. Right, water they ice. Say water ice. Yeah. But it's known for water ice. You know, for a lot of stuff. That's right. And the soft pretzel. The soft pretzel, okay, yeah. Philly. That's the soft pretzel, yeah. water ice, um, Philly cream cheese, oh, the yeah. cheese steak. What's some chips? It's like a brand. Um, Uts. 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 Tasty cakes. Tasty too. cakes. And I'm um, getting into the junk food. Tasty cakes. That's Philly. Um, Can one of y'all man this? Because I yeah. need to Yeah, so definitely. Wait, let me change it. Oh, he's a beautiful white bro. 
world. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Um, the Kosa people eat, I'm trying to pronounce that, Ugusho, which is sack and beans. Okay. Sack and beans. Okay. Life with uh, Pew. Life with Pew. Thank you for that one. Um, I don't know if I've ever eaten that. Mukeke well, fish. <laughs> yeah, okay. Divine is a Mukeke. Uh, what's gumbo, fam? Hmm. It's a good, good, good question. So it's a combination of things. It's kind of like a soup. It's like a seafood soup, if you will. Okay. It's like, yeah. Um, and originate in the south, in the southern regions. So I know. Um, they're big on it for Louisiana, but the the history of it it comes from uh, I think South Carolina is actually the uh, where it started originated, and then I think Louisiana took it and a hey, they turned it into something else. Um, peanut chews in Philly, you know about peanut chews? Yeah, yeah, peanut chews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm misinformed. Have you guys moved here? Moved here. Uh, no, we are nomadic. We're yeah. visiting. We're nomadic. <laughs> and that's for Ashford. Ashford was asked if we moved. Um, no, we're nomads. Nomads, brother. So just checking things out. We are having a great time here in uh, in Johannesburg, though. And we're trying to get to other provinces and, and different things. We did visit Pretoria. We like Pretoria as well. Um, it's good vibes in South Africa, really good vibes. We're gonna try to get over to um, Cape Town one day and also Durban. Yeah, we wanna check some other places out. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to checking out, you know, the rural areas and um, seeing what it's hitting for. We're having a great time. Thank you for that question, brother. Hi, fam. Please show us some house prices. All right. <laughs> yes, we're going to try to get to that. We're trying to hook up with some people. We're just wait for people to, you know, come through, you know. <clears throat> we're trying to hook up some things for us to show you guys. Pendile, uh, Italian ices, Italian pizza, Dutch cheese, Seattle's best coffee. Okay. Nice, nice. Seattle's known for coffee. Good, good, good. Yeah, so... Man, we're foodies, so you're gonna see a lot of food on this channel and us, you know, test, uh, test, taste testing, is that right? Uh, different foods and dishes and whatnot. You guys have a lot of different cuisines here, a lot of different cuisines. I saw a Turkish restaurant, and they have some good food. We used to eat Turkish a lot in the UAE. We've seen, um, oh my goodness, I've seen, um, uh, what was that restaurant? Portuguese, it was a Portuguese restaurant. Oh, that food was so yeah. good at the Mall of Africa. Yeah. I forgot the name of that restaurant, but that food was really good. We were there with uh, Asha. Asha from Asha Means Life. She has a channel on YouTube. But yeah, um, you have a lot of different cuisines here. All right, what's some of your favorite foods? You know, everybody, what's some of your favorite dishes, favorite foods? And it could be from anywhere. It doesn't have to be from where you are. All right, what's your favorite foods? Ayla, what's yours? Oh, yeah. That is a good question. Mines are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mine. Let's do like a top five in order. I'm just talking any cuisine or a dish or foods itself. Uh, let's say any foods, food, dishes. Dishes, specific dishes. All right. So, of course, I'm going to have to cut soul food out. That's already, that's one. So. That's macaroni, uh, 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 yams, candy yams, you know, my mother's kale, her Mickey wings, you know, and a macaroni. Um, so yeah, definitely those, but that takes up already five, so that's why I excluded those, because that's like everything. So, yes. But other than that, my favorite foods itself, I have to say, I love chicken wings, any type of chicken wings, any flavor. But not any flavor, but a lot of flavors. I can, yes. Um, of course, french fries. I always eat french fries. I love french fries. I'm a french fryologist. I know. Thank you. <laughs> um, I like pizza. It is not my favorite, but I love pizza. I do. Um, burgers. I like burgers. Not my favorite. I'm trying to think my favorites. All right, chicken wings is one. My favorite. Pasta. Noodles and pasta. Like, 
ramen, uh, spaghetti carbonara, fettuccine alfredo is my favorite pasta though. Fettuccine alfredo, like pastas like those. That's two. Um, three. <laughs> This is a tough one. My three, I'm gonna do three because I can't think of more than this. <laughs> chicken, I said chicken wings, chicken wings, um, uh, pastas and ramen and noodles. And uh, this is a tough one. I don't know. I gotta think. I really gotta think about that one. What are your favorite though, mother? Ooh. Mm. I like so many different foods. So let me say definitely um, grits. Don't laugh. I love grits. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a breakfast person. I love breakfast. So grits I love. Um, mac and cheese. Old school. Not that packaged stuff from scratch. Mac and cheese. Um, let's see what else I like. I love chicken, so different chicken dishes. Uh, I preferably like chicken when it's like baked or barbecued and or either smothered. I do fried here and there, but I like uh, chicken. What else? I love shrimp. Oh my goodness, shrimp in all kind of ways. I love mussels. So I'm kind of a seafood person. I like I love different. I love seafood. Love seafood. Um, so definitely the shrimp. What else? Uh, how many is that? I wouldn't think. Now, if I had to go into my soul food bag, I'll, it'll be way more than five. I love soul food. <laughs> um, kale. We cooked the kale the other day, but I love kale as far as vegetables go. Uh, kale and greens. Mm, yeah, is that five? My list is big, but I'm just trying to pick out things that I eat frequently. Um, I think that's five. Is it four? What else? Um... The chicken, grits, shrimp, um, mac and cheese. That was five. Okay. And I can go on and on, but I'm going to leave it at those five for now. Uh, I'm a big foodie. And um, yeah, I'm not going to go into desserts because that'll be all day. <laughs> How about yours? All right. That'll be a different section. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully I don't got no um, mm -mm. Uh, nothing in my beard, family. Yeah. But mm -hmm. all right, I got a spec somewhere. Yeah. Thank you for telling me, because sometimes I'll be yes. looking at videos yeah. back. There be stuff on my face. I'm like, y'all ain't even tell me, y'all. <laughs> y'all just gonna let me look like that. Look like what? All right. <laughs> anyway, my favorite food. Okay, Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, that's right. Oh. I got to put Thanksgiving in one, cause I like I like stuffing, and I like candy yams, and macaroni and cheese. All excuse about the burps. All all the same family. Mm -hmm. Stuffing, macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. and candy yams, family. Yeah. That's why I say Thanksgiving, cause all of that goes together. Then when you add the turkey and. Mm -hmm. And you got some collard greens or something like that. That right there is everything. That's life. Okay. You haven't lived until you tried that. Yeah. Anyway, pizza. Pizza's always been up there for me. I, it's really rough for me to eat it because it don't digest well. Mm -hmm. But it's still my favorite. And I'll still sacrifice all of that just to eat it because I love it so much, man. All right, next on the list. <clears throat> and this might be a shocker to you. <clears throat> Chicken tikka masala, which is Indian food. I don't. I don't even think about that. Chicken tikka masala does it for yeah, me, family. I order that a lot. I order that yeah, a lot. You order that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my yeah. thing. I don't, it's an Indian dish. <clears throat> a lot of people don't like Indian food, but I like the chicken tikka masala, family, with some rice. Yeah. Um, all right, my next. Then I got to have Mukeke up there. I know a lot of y'all be hating. I know some of y'all fix y'all look like, I know this nigga is going to say Mukeke. Yes, MuKK family. <laughs> and to all the haters who hate when I bring up MuKK, that's, right. that's just for you, family. Yes, <laughs> MuKK is on my list. All right. Um, oh yeah. I think I got one more. That one more food that I just love, and I can't like go without is mangoes, family. Uh, something yeah. simple, <laughs> something that the creator just has right uh, there for you.
And it's right there, ready at the right season. And I have to go to Limpopo to try those out because I heard they got the best family. And I might have had one already getting them from the supermarkets here, but I don't know until I go up there and see what the deal is. All right. All right. All right. Nice list. And uh, my girl Pendile, she said biscuit sis, of course, darling. Biscuit. Yes, buttermilk. Uh-uh. Let's make it buttermilk, no. baby. No. <laughs> now I don't I don't no. make them and um, haven't had them in a while. She asking me, she's not talking to you. Um, I like buttermilk biscuits. I remember my grandmother making them from scratch in the kitchen, baby. Yeah, buttermilk biscuits. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, that's Southern eating right there. And then also, that's right. Oh, oh, my mama's potato salad. I got to throw that in there because I can taste it. Like, my mama's potato. Not everybody can make potato salad the way I like it. My mama's potato salad is the bomb. It's the bomb. Yeah, so that. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I found some really great, and I've had them before, but it's hard to find them. A certain place you go. You know, um, um, apples. I've been eating a lot of apples. I love apples. The fruit, apples, yeah. Um, and specifically the gala, or the gala apple, G-A-L-A. The gala apple is amazing. Oh my goodness, they had some really good ones here. Y'all, I think I ate four apples yesterday. They say apple a day, but that, I'm sorry. I was going through that bag. <laughs> Those were good. And it's like, um, the fruit is, is... I don't want to say real, because, you know, awful real, but this the taste of it is the, the balance of the sweet and the, like, I guess, zingy a little bit in that apple. The apple is a really good <laughs> apple. It's the one where the peel is, like, a little bit green and red at the same time, but that apple is amazing. I, I ate four apples yesterday. Yeah. So I'm proud of myself. I love apples. You know what, too? And I, that my late night snack sometimes, when you know it's too late to eat, you don't want to eat something heavy. I slice apples and I, I, I put uh, peanut butter on the side and I eat apples and peanut butter. That was an old school, like, uh, childhood snack and I still eat it. My mom used to give us those and uh, it's yummy. Especially when you find a really tasty apple. Yeah. Somebody said, Pendila, is that Pendila? Hi. She says, uh, hold on. <laughs> I can't flip <laughs> it. I'm trying to flip the thing. Oh, Granny Pip. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't. It's too sour. Gala apples. I used to like apples, but I think I got food poisoning and had to force myself to eat it, so I stopped liking it. Same with watermelon. I got food poisoning once, and I had to force myself to eat because you don't have no appetite when you got food poisoning. And ever since then, I've just been like, No. With apples and uh, watermelon, I can't. Because I had to force myself to eat it when I had uh, food poisoning in Cambodia. So it's like, when I do, when I have to do that, I'd be like, it'd be tasting nasty during that time, you know? But as far as fruits, I like, I do like apples. Like, I'll eat them, but my favorites are probably like pineapples, bananas. Now, the banana has to have a little brown. I don't like just full yellow bananas, no ma'am. It has to have some brown spots on it. It has to have some brown spots. And pineapple, I don't like any acid in the pineapple. No sour, no. It has to be fully sweet for me to really enjoy the pineapple. So, and of course grapes, stuff like that. But yeah, as far as fruits. Now, everyone, including y'all, what are y'all favorite snacks? Oh, God. You, you done eat up ass? Yeah, I'm gonna, my favorite snacks? Yes. <clears throat> I like, I like tasty cakes. <laughs> um, is this chips too? Or are you talking? Yeah, oh. <laughs> um, I like wrap snacks, chumpies, something like that. Um, Jesus stuff you don't know about. Yeah, I love Somebody said peanut chews. Peanut I forgot chews. all about peanut chews, family. Peanut like chews is up there. Stuff in there. It's like chocolate, but then it got like nuts. It's not nuts. It's like something's in there. It's, it's it makes like it just. A, you gotta pull it's it like up. It's like a log, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Trying. Okay. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's coated in chocolate and has the white, sweet stuff in there. It's like packed together. I don't it know is. if it's white or it's caramel. It's something it's in there, something in there something that in makes there. it just oh. extremely delicious, family. Look it up. Nougat. Peanut chews. I don't think it's nougat. It's like, mm. but anyway. I like that. Those, are good. those that's three. Um, 
trying to think something in a different country. Um, eh. Anything American, anywhere, it don't mm. matter. Oh yeah, um, oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Like that brown sugar or uh, banana or apple cinnamon oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely that. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, this is not an easy one because I really don't eat a lot of snacks. snacks. I eat oatmeal, like. It's oatmeal. Oh, yeah, popcorn. Because right. yeah. okay. Ayla Mace, I'm going to say this, family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ayla Mace is not a snack. Ayla Mace is a snack. Ayla Mace is a snack. Ayla Mace is the best popcorn ever, family. The movies ain't got nothing on the popcorn that Ayla makes. I don't know where she gets that from. I don't know how, but she makes the best popcorn ever. So I get Ayla to make me some popcorn and I'm good. And that's my snacks, family. For all the other beautiful people out there. Yeah. I love my apples and peanut butter. And uh, what else? Um, peanut butter. I love uh, sweet chili Doritos. <laughs> the sweet just in the blue bag, by the way. Um, what else? I like. Mm, I do oatmeal from time to time. Oatmeal. The banana. What is it? Banana and what's that flavor? Banana flavor. Apple, uh, apple cinnamon or the banana one. I think I like the banana one better. Uh, what else? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a coffee lover too. I love, oh, you love some coffee. coffee. Yeah, they'll tell you I love coffee. And sometimes I notice when I drink coffee, I don't know, it cuts my appetite sometimes. So I'll probably go half a day and you know eat probably one meal. But I love coffee. And I don't know, it just curves my appetite. But I love coffee. Um, what else? You know the snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been eating recent. You know, recently is those things. Um, like I feel like I just want something quick. Like the hot oatmeal, yeah, those chips. Hot yeah. <laughs> For me, now I'm warning you, majority of these is not healthy. Um, my number one, all right, chip. I'm gonna go in chips. Top three chips. My top three chips. Number one, my number one favorite chips is Frito Twist, the barbecue flavor in the black and orange bag. Frito Twist, number one. Second is hot Cheetos. I'm sorry. I love my hot Cheetos. <laughs> and number three is probably normal just nacho cheese Doritos. Now as for as far as candy, my well, like ever since I was young, my number one favorite was Butterfingers. But when the last time I had them, they tasted amazing. But biting it like it gets stuck on your teeth like or oh, I can't get this off my tooth. That's the only issue with Butterfingers. But of course, Kit Kats and between Snickers and Twix is my top three favorite candy bars. So those are pretty much my favorite snacks, though. If it had to be a healthy snack, mm, I, would just, I would just eat fruit, really. Like banana or pineapples or something. If mom's eating pine, uh, apples and peanut butter, I'll probably grab me an apple, my darn self, you know? So that's pretty much it knickknacks are nice i don't even know what that is i think i don't oh i know that's a isn't that a chips here in south africa i think it's a south african snack i've seen it a lot it's like a yeah knickknacks i saw it and i actually saw somebody not too long ago holding those now uh, there's a chips that I oh ginger like. cookies yeah i want to try the chips here i haven't we matter of fact we need to try the snacks here in south africa because i don't think we really delved into the snacks here so we gotta try that but some chips some chips that i really love that's made on the continent is um winners chips and, and rwanda them chips is all that winners, them chips is winners. good Ooh. Yeah. i remember when we found those <laughs> And I was like, man, they got the right name. Yeah. Them chips are off the chain. Those are good right chips. Name. Yeah, shout out to Rwanda for the winners. <laughs> the winners off the hook. They're good, yeah. You like those? Yeah. Yes, winners is what I do. Yeah, winners is good. Winners are definitely winners. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think they're talking. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. You didn't even know 
You want to say it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hi. So she was telling us that it was a customer. She wanted to thank us. There was a customer that didn't even know about this place. Yes. And so he was watching the live. He just left. He came and, and ordered and he just left. And he yes, went. and he's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. You thank are very you. welcome, wow. sis. Um, What's your name one more time? Sorry, your name one more time. Oh, my name is Morlin. Morlin. Yes, yes. Morlin. thank you so much. Excellent service. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Wow. Yes. And the cheese steaks were good. Yeah. Yes. I would definitely come back. Oh, this is something neat. Yeah. I was saying I would definitely come back here. I really enjoyed the cheese steak. Um, <clears throat> it was good. I can't. I can't. It, it was good, family. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a good place. If you want to know what a Philly cheese steak tastes like? Yeah, definitely come to Philly's cheese steak company, family. Yeah. yeah <laughs> All right. So, um, man, that's something. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so again, um, before we head out of here, we want to thank you guys for checking us out, tuning in. Much love all the time. Thank you guys. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We're going to get on with ours. And um, man, that was something. You know, the customer coming through. And the cheesesteaks were really good. And they actually serve you on plates. You know, it's not paper plates, it's plates. I'm silverware. But um, good service, good food. Another good day, Johannesburg. And also make sure that you check out the website at apologeticnomads.com and sign up for the uh, webinar that's coming up on March the 5th. And those who have already done so, shout out to you. We look forward to seeing you then. Yes. Love you guys. Oh, yeah, family. So, like, over these last couple of days, I've been doing my ancestry on uh, certain sites, and I found some information I'm gonna have to do it in the video, family. So please expect that soon. It may not be within these couple days, but expect that around next week or somewhere. But yes, I did find that street. And yeah, I will share that with the family. And that's all I'm gonna say right now because it's very exciting news. But yes, family. Yeah. Yes. Thank y'all for watching. And thanks. Follow us on Instagram at unapologetic underscore nomads. And follow me <laughs> on Instagram at <laughs> and follow me on Instagram at ALA underscore T H E underscore artist. <laughs> artist. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks. I was running out of air. <laughs> Alright, family. And we unapologetic. No mads. And we unapologetic. Maddie. <laughs> I, I'm struggling, you know, bad it. <laughs> thank y'all and thank